What's up guys? Today I'm going to be smoking a beef eye round roast because the price of meat is too damn high. All right, so everyone around the country has been dealing with these crazy meat prices, and for those of you who love barbecue like I do, it really hurts the wallet when you want to get a nice barbecue meal, and all the cuts of meat that you usually use for barbecue are just really expensive. So I'm talking about brisket, I'm talking about ribs, even chicken. Prices on these meats are getting really expensive. Today, I'm going to be doing a beef eye round roast, which is a reasonably priced meat. So I was looking into different ways of cooking this. A lot of people like to cook this to about 125 to 135 degrees. You slice it nice and thin and you have yourself some delicious roast beef. Now that did sound like an option, but I'm not looking for roast beef, I'm looking for barbecue. So what I'm gonna do with this eye round today is I'm gonna try and smoke it like a brisket and I'm really hoping it doesn't get too dry. The reason I'm worried about it getting too dry is because the eye round is not known for having a lot of fat in it. It has a little bit of a fat cap on it, but the intramuscular fat is very minimal. So we're gonna have to take some steps when cooking this to try and make it so it doesn't dry out. I'm gonna be doing this on my offset smoker. I got it fired up now with some nice oak wood. But let's get this eye round out so we can take a look at it and trim it up. Here's our eye round. All right, now you can buy these in a big roast. I bought this one, it was probably about this big. I cut it in half, I'm only gonna cook this half. So let's cut this open and see what it looks like. All right, so there you go. Now you can see there's not much marbling, if anything at all. We do have this fat cap here. The only concern I have with this is it drying out. When we wrap it up, we'll try and add some fluids to keep it nice and moist. But let's get to trimming this. Got a lot of silver skin and stuff on these. All right, so this is what we're looking for. You wanna trim everything besides this fat cap. We're gonna to wanna to leave that on. All right, there we go. Nice, beautiful, trimmed eye round roast. You can go ahead and tie this with butcher's twine to make it stay nice and round. I think I'll be all right like this. All right, so this looks good. Let's get this seasoned. So here I have some Malden's flaky salt. I really like using this. It doesn't seem to be as salty as regular kosher salt. Let's put a generous amount of the salt on here. All right, now the pepper. Here I have butcher style pepper. It's very coarse and I really like using it on the smoker. It makes a really nice bark. If you can only get regular pepper, that's fine. Stuff has a little bit more strong pepper flavor than your regular table grind. That's good for the smoker because you tend to lose a lot of the pepper flavor with the long smoke. So this will make sure that this piece of meat still has a nice pepper flavor. Also means you don't want to go too heavy. All right, then last, just a little bit of garlic powder. I know a lot of people just like the salt and pepper, but the garlic powder really adds a nice flavor to beef. You don't need too much. There you go, just get the seasoning off the board. This is ready for the smoker. Let's get it on. All right, let's get this meat on. All right, there we are. All right, so we got that eye round on the smoker. Now I'm gonna be treating this very similar to a brisket. I'm gonna be running my smoker around 275 degrees, gonna try and maintain it there. Probably let this go for an hour or two before I check on it, see if it's drying out. If it is, I'm gonna go ahead and spritz it with some apple cider vinegar and water. At that point, I'll start checking for temperature, see how the bark looks. So like a brisket, I'm gonna look for a temperature of about 160 to 170 degrees. The main thing I'm gonna be looking for is that bark though. I wanna get a nice bark before I pull it off and wrap it, but I have to be careful because if I leave it on too long, it will dry out and I don't want that. So if the bark's not really forming like I want, I'm just gonna take it off anyway and wrap it. So I'll see you in a couple hours when I check this eye round. All right, this eye round has been on for two and a half hours now. Let's take a look. Bark's looking pretty good, not too dry. I didn't have to spritz this at all. Looks pretty good though. So let's get a temperature on this. 166. This is looking pretty good. Let's get this pulled off and wrapped. All right, let's get this wrapped. If you've seen any of my other videos, you're gonna know the method I'm gonna use. I like to wrap in butcher paper and then do a foil boat around it. So that's what I'm doing today. That starts with foil and some butcher paper. All right, now I got a little apple cider vinegar and water. Just spray down your paper. We want this to be nice and moist. We're dealing with a dry piece of meat here. Now what I'm gonna do to help with the dryness, I'm doing some beef tallow. I want a lot of beef tallow for this. Remember, there's not a lot of fat in this eye round roast. Just spread this around. Now we're ready for the meat. All right, here's our meat. Check this out. It's looking really good. Bark's pretty nice. It smells delicious. See our little fat cap? Not much really left to that, but let's get this wrapped up. Lay that right down on the tallow. Let's go ahead and wrap it. And 
There we are. Now, just make a little foil boat. There we have it. Now, I don't know what's so great about this paper with the foil boat, but it's always giving me great results, so I'm sticking with it. So let's get this back on the smoker till it's finished. All right, back at the smoker. Gonna throw this right back on. Beautiful. There we have it. All right, so we got the eye round wrapped up, back on the smoker. Now, when I was thinking about wrapping this, I was thinking about wrapping it completely in foil, adding some beef broth in there, kind of let it stew and get it nice and tender. Because the eye round doesn't have that much fat, I thought that might be a good idea. But I want to keep it traditional, try and make this just like a brisket. So I'm just going with a tallow wrap, and I think we'll be good with that. I think the tallow is really going to help this eye round stay nice and moist during the cook. So now that the eye round's wrapped up and back on the smoker, I'm going to try and run my smoker around 300 degrees try and help this cook a little faster. So now I'm just gonna be checking on this every hour or so, see where we are for temperature. Once it gets to around 200 degrees, I'm gonna start checking for tenderness. All right, I've never smoked an eye round like this, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it because maybe around 190 degrees, it's at the tenderness level I want, but I'm thinking it's gonna be around that 200 degree mark like a brisket is. All right, so when this thing gets to the tenderness I like, we're gonna pull it off, see how it came out. Here's our eye round roast all finished up. So I wrapped it up, put it on the smoker. After about two hours, I went out and checked it. The temperature I was getting was around 200 degrees, but for tenderness, it didn't seem tender enough. So I let it go another half an hour. My temperatures got up to 210 degrees and the tenderness was pretty good. Now it's not gonna be anything tender like a brisket because we're missing that intermuscular fat, but it was pretty tender. So I let it go to 200 degrees, hold it off, let it sit out for about a half an hour. And then I threw it in my oven at 170 degrees and let it sit in there for about another hour and a half. Pulled it out, let it rest for another half an hour to cool down a bit, and here we are, ready to slice. It does smell very good. But let's slice into this thing and see how tender it actually is. All right, let's get this unwrapped. All right, we got plenty of juices coming out of this thing. All right, let's get this paper off. Ooh. All right, this thing doesn't look too bad. Bark's pretty good. This fat is definitely rendered out. See how soft that fat is. All we gotta do is slice into this, see how it came out. All right, it's crunch time. I'm just gonna cut this slice off. Looks like brisket. Oh, it's not too bad. It's definitely not super tender. So we'll cut these slices a little thinner. So let's look at this. Not too bad. It's definitely not brisket tender. It's definitely tender though, you can see pulls apart. I don't know. So for a beef eye round, I'm pretty happy with this tenderness. I'll tell you what, I'll definitely take it. The important thing is this thing smells phenomenal, so let's give it a try. So before I give this a try, I'd just like to say thank you for watching the video. It means a lot. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram at SmokestackJoes. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed. But let's get right down to business. It smells phenomenal, so I want to give this a try. All right, we got this nice piece here. Of course, what I'm going to do is dip it in all these drippings that we have saved left over. This definitely could use a little bit of moisture. All right, so let's see how a beef eye round roast will taste when you cook it like a brisket. Mmm, mmm, that is pretty good. So it's definitely drier than a brisket for sure, but it tastes pretty damn good. Mm-hmm, wow. So it's got a little bit of a different flavor than brisket. It's got more of that pot roasty kind of flavor, which I kind of expected out of this, but this is definitely quality meat. If you're looking to cook something up cheap and you want that smoked barbecue flavor, kind of like a brisket, this will definitely do. This is some good stuff. Keep in mind, it is dry. You're probably gonna have to add a sauce onto it. It's still tender. I mean, it's not chewy. It's just not as tender as a nice brisket, obviously. Take this, throw it on a roll with some sauce, maybe a little coleslaw. You got yourself a pretty damn good barbecue barbecue sandwich. And for a reasonable price, you could feed a lot of people with this cut of meat. Don't go looking away from the eye round roast and don't think that you can only make roast beef out of it. If you want good roast beef, use a prime rib, by the way. This is good. Cook this way. Just remember, you're going to need some sauce. You can make a little au jus sauce, pour it over this. Absolutely delicious. I got to try another piece because it's actually pretty damn good. Mm, the bark is great on this. That coarse ground pepper. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I'm just trying to get these cheap cuts of meat, see what we can make out of them because that's what barbecue was all about when it started. Once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, get out there and cook something good. Mm -hmm.